Hello and welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Sabine. I'm wearing my Patchwork Threads Sewing Notions t-shirt today because every single fabric I have to show you from our new arrivals all are sewing notions. So you can definitely show off your love of sewing with the goodies we have for you today. We're going to start off with the fabric you see behind me. We put together a new beginner quilting project that includes a gorgeous new collection from Timeless Treasures. So if you have not heard of our beginner course, you are missing out. We have heard from brand new quilters all the way to seasoned pros who have learned gobs from our sewing course. It teaches you absolutely everything you know from what you need and the differences between chain and quilt shop quality fabric all the way up to how to care for your first quilt that you will make throughout the series. We cover absolutely everything you need to know, cutting, how to read a pattern, what supplies you absolutely need versus ones that maybe you don't need to get started off with. Um, it comes with a free pattern. We have quilt kits like this one available for you so you can make them um, and not have to guess of what's gonna look good together because we've done that for you. We cover how to cut accurately, how to sew accurately with a quarter inch seam, how to press, how to chain piece to make everything go faster, how to put everything together, how to layer base, quilt it, bind it, you name it, we got it. And you can watch it for free on academy.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. Technically you can watch all the videos without joining, but if you do, then it will be saved in your courses and you can keep track of your progress that way. And also everything is in its own segment and its own video. So it's really easy to pop back to where you were before and know, okay, it's been a while since I've done binding. I want a refresher on that. So you can do that at any time, the courses you have forever. And also if you join, you get a coupon to get 20% off anything that's in our beginner quilting supply category, which includes some of your notions and things you need to get started and these kits. So check that out. Let's take a look at the fabric that's been included this time. So this is the only one that isn't specifically sewing, but it looks so cute with everything. It's just absolutely adorable. This is a nice floral. We've got some lavender, pink, peach, and white flowers on a yellow background. Really pretty. Next up, we have embroidery scissors. We have some more modern looking ones as well as ones that look very vintage. It was a big thing back in the day for them to have these birds on them. Like that's something if you look on eBay, there's so many. And they're really pretty, really fun, as well as a nice practical tool to have. And so they're really cute and it is gonna make a fun addition to this quilt. And we cannot have a sewing themed quilt without some sewing machines. We have some modern looking sewing machines. We have some feather weights. We have more like 1970s, 60s, Kenmore boat anchor sewing machines. You name it, they're on here. And it is just an ode to all the machines that helped us get to where we are today. This one is super cute. It's a bunch of teeny tiny little buttons. And we've got round buttons, we have shape buttons, we have little flowery type buttons. They're really fun, really cute, and I love this deep teal background. Some of the sewing machines in here are more tealy than they are black, and so it really coordinates very well. And for our last fabric, we have all the things in it. We have a dress form, we've got the sewing machines, we have some notions and twill and trim tape and paper patterns and embroidery thread and of course the scissors and it is just gorgeous. There's some little embroidery kits on here. They're so fun, so pretty, and this is going to be a great ode to sewing quilt for you all. We also got a nice coordinating background for this one. It is just kind of a mottled creamy ivory print. It looks really good with all of the other pieces with it. And so it's going to give you a little bit of texture without being a plain solid, but also really allow all of your prints to shine. All right, so that's our new beginner kit. Now we're gonna get into some of the fat quarter bundles that we put together that also have sewing notions on them. So next up, we have not one, but two Sewing Notion sampler bundles. This is just a collection of different Sewing Notion fabrics that we decided to put together. I'd recommend you check out our Cross Your Heart pattern. You, This would be a great one for it. It kind of looks like cross stitch, the way the blocks are put together, and it has spaces to fussy cut your favorite Sewing Notions fabrics in the center. I originally designed it to go with the Tula Pink collection that came out a couple of years ago, but it would absolutely work for 
any sewing notions fabric that you go with, um, but not all of it go together. Like we split up these two into different collections because these are very like on the pastel side and the others are very much black and white. So we kind of have it mixing and matching. And generally the more fabric you include in a quilt, the less it all has to go together, but it is good to kind of have some themes in mind when you're going for something like that. So we're gonna start off here with this nice little light blue print, and it has little cross stitch designs on them. We have some heart, a key, what looks like a home. It really is cute, and it really is gonna kind of work as a blender because there's not a lot going on in there. Next up, we have a bunch of buttons that are kind of just scattered out. I love the colors of these. They're really bright and fun. And really all of the next ones we're gonna see are also bright and fun and kind of go together, but they still more tend to the softer side of things as far as color goes. This one looks like you, somebody just got a new sewing machine and is practicing out all of their stitches. They're just kind of winding here and there. We have double and triple stitches, single stitches, running stitches. It's just all the, all the stitches, but they're really fun. And again, this one also could work as more of a basic because there's not a lot going on in terms of color variation. This one definitely has fussy cutting possibilities with all of our embroidery shears on here. They're also in the background are buttons and running stitches and pins, but you absolutely could take pieces out of this to use the centers of block and really kind of showcase where you want to place things and your ability to, you know, cut in a very precise and lovely way to show off your skills and your craft. Here is that same print again, this time with more of a blue teal background to it. It's really a pretty colorway. Here's our buttons again, this time with a little bit deeper pink colorway for the background. This one also has great fussy cutting possibilities. There are all the notions all laid out in a beautiful grid on here. We have the scissors we've seen before. We have an embroidery hoop. We have a needle threader, the buttons, the thread on the spools. We have needles, snap fasteners, just all the things one might need. Even this is knitting stitches here. So we are getting that in there too. Chalk, um, marking tool, just all the things one might need to be crafty with fiber are on this print and it would make great fussy cut block centers. And here's that same print again, this time with a little bit deeper pink for our background. All right, so here we have it, our Sewing Notion sampler. And again, these are all nice softer colors. It's really cute, very feminine. You can have a lot of fun with this one by adding to your stash. When I used to, before I started doing stash with Stephanie and I was always designing with a collection, what I would often do is I would collect for a long time until I felt like I had enough to make a quilt. And I would often be collecting fat quarters to do that with, or half yards sometimes too. But this would be one that I would grab and then I would be on the lookout for more soft colored, notions like some of these would absolutely go in that as well and then eventually once you have enough you can go and do some really fun things with it now this collection is much more of the black and white colorway for sewing notions and this can be fun too i made some really fun pillowcases out of ones like this for like when I go on sewing retreats and things like that. And we do have yardage available of everything too. So if that's your intention, we got you covered and we have a free tutorial and pattern on how to do it. So this one is really fun. This is the only one that has some color in it. And this one is just four fat quarters. So it's really inexpensive if you wanna add this to your stash. We have lots of different colors of buttons, but they're all very rich in color. So if you're a man quilter out there, this could be a good one to make your own sewing theme pillowcase with. This one is black and white spools of thread and there's all different types of spools. There are ones that look like the old wooden ones, some more contemporary, different levels of use, the skinnier ones, some have needles in them. I often do that at home, even though it's not the safest thing, but it is just everything you need and some bobbins too. So this is just a fun one to have to add to your Notion stash. Now this is the same print as the first one we looked at. This one is just black, white, and gray for the colorway. So it really is a fun one. The background is, it is white, but it does look a little gray um, just because the difference is so stark between the two. 
And this is the same one as our black and white spools, but this time the spools are black and white and the background is kind of a speckled gray. So it really stands out a lot more, but really looks cool. So this is gonna be a really fun one if you're just looking for a little small project. Maybe you want to have like a cover for your sewing machine or a mat to go underneath it that has pockets and little compartments for your goodies to go in. I know I've had those before, like thread catchers. These are all really fun projects that don't use a lot of material and will be great to use some a little bundle like this with. It's a really cute little happy collection that you can have a lot of fun with. Well, thanks so much for taking a peek at some of our new quilty goodies that we got in. I hope you are gonna have some fun making some quilting and sewing themed crafts out of this. The possibilities are pretty endless. So make sure you check out that cross your heart pattern. That's a really good one to use some sewing notions fabric in, show off those fussy cutting skills. And until next time, happy quilting.